Accidents will happen, but once in a while, they're blessings in disguise. Take TV show bloopers. Sometimes they make the show funnier, more convincing, or just more all-around interesting. These bloopers from popular TV shows were just so perfect for the plot and characters, they had to stay in the final cut. Seinfeld The best Seinfeld episodes feature the fabulous foursome struggling with some kind of existential nightmare. Perhaps the best example is the 1991 episode The Parking Garage, in which the gang spends the entire story wandering around a parking complex, unable to find their car until the very end. As scripted, the episode was supposed to finish with some small talk and the group driving off their struggle finally over. But when actor Michael Richards put the key in the ignition, the car wouldn't start. An unplanned ending that cracked up the cast and crew. It's a more fitting and funnier way to wrap up the story, and it proved just too good to cut. Supernatural a commonly uttered profane phrase doubled as a catchphrase for paranormal investigator Dean Winchester on Supernatural. Actor Jason Ackles uttered the line as an off-script addition while making the 2007 episode Bad Day at Black Rock. Son of a bitch! His boisterous, hilariously frustrated, over-the-top delivery did a number on co-star Jared Padalecki, and the inspired improvisation made it into the final episode. Friends Ross Geller was always a man with quirky pursuits, like playing experimental keyboard music and owning a monkey, for example. In the seventh season Friends episode, The One with Joey's New Brain, Ross desperately wants to play the bagpipes at Chandler and Monica's upcoming wedding, even though they aren't interested, and despite his complete inability to actually play the instrument. During a sneak peek, actress Jennifer Aniston clearly can't handle it and does everything in her power to not break. A real-life reaction too good to leave on the cutting room floor. How I Met Your Mother Wayne Brady's first big claim to fame was as a gifted improvisational comic on ABC's Whose Line Is It Anyway? In Brady's first episode as Barney's brother on the sitcom How I Met Your Mother, actor Neil Patrick Harris made it his mission to improvise a line that would make Brady crack. The one that worked? A reference to a song by Britney Spears' backup dancer-turned-husband, Kevin Federline. What? 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 Cool. Put buzz out. <laughs> Brady had to quickly duck away to keep from cracking up on camera. An awkward bit of blocking, but the end result was too funny to cut. The Brady Bunch In his 1992 memoir, Growing Up Brady, Barry Williams revealed he taped a scene for the ultra-innocent family sitcom while completely stoned. To be fair, he was a young dude in California in the early 70s, and he thought he had the day off. But then he got a call from the producers who needed him on the set that day after all. Oops. Far out. Somehow, nobody associated with the Brady Bunch thought it was weird that Williams tripped over his bike pump, awkwardly waved, slurred his words, or looked the wrong way when his on-screen little sister arrived on scene, all with a dopey grin on his face. Or maybe a secret hero knew what was up and decided to leave it in as a gift to future generations? Mystery Science Theater 3000 this cult classic follows the interstellar travails of a poor sap in prison on a spaceship with a crew of robots, mocking the low-budget movies they're forced to watch. Many of the films are riddled with mistakes, so it's ironic that MST3K had its own spectacular blooper make it into the finished product. Inspired by a weapon in a terrible movie called Danger Death Ray, Tom Servo made his own death ray and fired it at a crow. That was all supposed to happen. Oh, I gotta admit it, it is pretty funny. <laughs> the crow puppet, however, wasn't supposed to catch fire. It was just the sort of anarchic silliness that made Mystery Science Theater 3000 so special. So the take was used. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.